What's up you guys and welcome to another Ruck production. Today I wanted to bring to you a little something I've been working on which is learning how to arrange a roll clothes and this is just a little something that you can try for a different way of packing your clothes if you are going on a backpacking trip or you're traveling. Sometimes folding your clothes like normal doesn't work exactly right and so maybe this will help you out to get your things a little bit more organized. So this is a concept that you can translate into putting an entire dress set, like your socks, shirt, and pants, into one unit so that it's all together in one place. And if you need your clothing, then you just grab that one burrito and you're good to go. So to kind of show you the concept of what this is all about, I'm going to show you with a regular t-shirt and that will give you the idea of what's going on here. And you use the exact same concepts to translate over to in rolling up an entire clothing set or whatever you feel like rolling up. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and lay our shirt flat on the floor. I like to tuck in my sleeves. You're going to come to the bottom of your shirt and you're going to roll it inside out around about four or five inches high. So you can see there's the whole of your shirt, the whole bottom of it, and then the bottom is just flipping up over itself. And it kind of helps to put your fingers in there and just kind of shake it a little bit to make it nice and neat. At this point, we're going to fold it into thirds from top to bottom. So we're going to come from this side, about a third, and then this side, about a third. So you've got your bottom side over here with the bottom flipped up and then right here you have your neck, your head portion. And this is the part where we're going to roll down from. So you go ahead and fold your neck over and you're going to roll it as tightly as you can. Trying to keep these sides even. And then you're going to end up with this. So what you can do is this little flap right here, you can tuck your hand into there to grab your little Ranger burrito. And you're going to take that same flap and pull it over so that it tucks into the spirals here or over the spirals. And it's going to create basically a tube. So now you have a shirt, burrito. Now if you need to see exactly what happened there, because it's a little bit confusing when you're starting out, go ahead and rewind the video and then come back up to speed here. And we're going to try this again with some extra parts for the full clothing set. So once you want to pull your shirt apart, you just take it and undo it and there's your shirt. So if you're looking to get a whole clothing set rolled up into this thing, you do the same thing. You go ahead and start out with your shirt, tuck your bottom up. And for this, you're going to want to pull the bottom farther up because there's more stuff inside that it's going to have to wrap around. So you're looking more at like six inches instead of about four. So we're going to pull this up here. Kind of flatten it out so that you guys can see what's going on. And however thick your other clothing items are, that's going to 
dictate how high up this bottom portion needs to come up. So if I've got these nice thin tactical pants, it's not going to need as much material here to cover that up as you would blue jeans or something like that. So we're going to see if I can get this to work with the blue jeans since they're nice and large. But the idea here is to go ahead and in the chest area, going from top to bottom, trying to stay within that center line, lay your items as flat as possible. I'm going to lay my pants here as well. And you can see that the pants come way over. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of fold them into the center so that they fit a little bit better. Now it's okay if your clothing goes over the top of where your collar is. You just do not want it to extend farther down than the bottom because the bottom needs to be able to wrap over top of all that. So we've got our little setup here and then we're going to fold in thirds as best as we can. Make sure that everything is nice and straight. So you should end up with something like a rectangle. And then same thing as last time, starting from the collar side, we're going to roll it downwards, trying to make it as tight as possible and make sure that the sides are even here. And you wanna just try to keep it as neat as you can. Once you've got your piece rolled up, go ahead and stick your hand in here to keep everything together and then fold that portion over and it should make your burrito. You can make it as neat as you want. I like to make it look real nice, kind of shape it up, have a little craftsmanship, but here you go. Now I've got one rolled up little unit burrito and that's my pants my socks and my shirt all in one place and we can try it again with a different type of clothing here i got bigger socks long sleeve shirt which is a little bit different i'll show you that but the pants are thinner so it's going to be a little bit different but still using the same concepts camera moved a little bit that's all right so once again we're going to take our shirt go ahead and lay it flat and the arms can come folded into the center I'm going to flip up my bottom this is kind of in the way of flipping up my bottom here, so I'm just going to get that out the way. Since these materials are a little bit thinner, I'm not going to come up a whole six inches or so. I'm probably going to leave it around normal uh, four inch height. So now it's going to be the same thing. Go ahead and lay my sock in there. Lay my other sock in there. Just do as good of a job as you can, keeping everything kind of around the center. My pants are folded in half so that they're nice and flat, as flat as possible. Do not come below the bottom line here. Fold it into thirds as best as you can. It 
it doesn't even have to be exactly thirds. It can, as long as you've got the two flaps folded inwards on this upside, and then on the bottom side you have this one kind of pocket, it should work. So now we've got a rectangle as best as we can get it. We're going to roll from the collar side down. Try and make sure to keep it as straight as I can while I'm rolling. Now, if you've got sensitive materials, uh, it is notable that you should try not to stretch this too hard because obviously you're going to stretch out your shirt and we don't want that. But with these shirts, I don't really care if it gets stretched a little bit. They should be good to go. But there it is, same concept. Now I got two full clothing sets and they're all nice and neat. And if you really want, you can use it as a weapon, whatever you want. It's just kind of a neat little thing to do. But I hope you guys liked that video. I thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to share it with you guys. If you like it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Tell me what you think I did wrong or uh, something else that you would have liked to have seen done in the video. And that's going to be about it for today. See ya.